How you doing today, Nigel? Good, how you doing? All right, um, you recently lost your job and were denied unemployment, correct? Correct. All right. Now, the employers um, gave the reason. They said you weren't at your clients. That's correct. All right. But you were at your clients. That is correct. And one of your witnesses that you're hearing was the client. That is correct. Oh, oh now, how, how could this be? I mean... If your client is saying you were there, yes. how are they saying you weren't? What happened was the company contacted the client. Um, well, you mean what they say happened? That's correct. No, but if, if they contacted the client, how could they say that you weren't there if your clients come into court? To basically vouch for us. Not, not even to vouch. She's, she's fired up about it. That's correct. She's angry. Yes. Why is she angry? Because she know that everything that we stated and everything that transpired that day. Is well, that that, that ain't why she's angry. That's why she's that's why oh, she's well, the gonna main testify. We were her best guys. So she's angry because now she can't get where she needs and to she go. Can't get the, the right help. Because the other baby, I mean, you and your partner were both fired. Correct. That is correct. All right, and you and your partner are both. Big, burly EMTs. That's correct. Now, uh, you're an emergency medical technician. Yes. And your client is a, a, a person. We're not going to go into detail. Yes. But she's a person who needs to be transported by EMTs. That is correct. All right. And and not regular EMTs. You have to have special equipment. That is correct. Assistant. And so you were there That's without correct. equipment. That's correct. And without Without that, the other two teams. Without the other crews to assist us okay. as well. So, you're sitting there actually waiting. As usual. And the other teams aren't there, but you got fired. That's correct. Um, we were on scene waiting, which is a standard procedure. Um, we always require that we can't ourselves transport that patient without help. Right. The patient is a regular patient. She's documented in the system. Right. So it's known. It's a known fact. So, oh, you know, so wait a minute. If you were the first team there, yes. and the patient says you're the first team there, yes. and you didn't have the right equipment, and you made the call for the equipment for them to bring the, the right equipment, equipment. and the backup. And the backup. How is it that you're fired? I'm, we're still trying to get that... Oh, oh, what do you mean? He said, no, no. Well, tell me why. You have a reason. You have a theory. Why do you think they really fired you? Well, my theory would be... We have a couple of theories. Let's let's start with one, number one. Well, um, one I would actually say would be the company has a tendency of... No, no, no. See, now you're talking in doublespeak. You're mm -hmm. not a lawyer. What's going on? Why'd they fire you for real? We were singled out. For what reason? For letting them know that... No, no. See, now you're speaking to... That you did something. Mm -hmm. What did you guys do? It's with an organization. I'm giving you a hint. We spoke out. About what? Their lack of organization. Well, you, know, you don't care whether they're organized. They treat you bad, right? That's correct. And you're an employee. Correct. So what, what do employees who are being treated bad usually do when they get together? Well, we try to organize. What were you trying to organize? A union. Oh, see, now you you act like you're ashamed. No. <laughs> Far from it. Well, you're going back and forth. You, 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 you. You were fired because you tried to organize a union. Oh, was that so hard? No, it wasn't. <laughs> well, why are you you're you back and uh, you nervous because of this little camera here? No. That's a, that, come on, this is a little camera. You can see I got a big one that we can use from time to time. Yeah. All right? No, don't be nervous. No why were you fired? For uh, trying to organize a union. That's one reason. Yeah. What's the second reason? Second reason... 
everybody who's been fired now. The other teams weren't fired, right? That's correct. Okay, but you and your partner were fired. Yes. What color are you and your partner? We're African American. We're black males. Okay. Um, what were other people fired? Like in in recent times, like a, a pattern of firing. That's correct. Um, one thing that we took notice to was a lot of people that we try to get together when we try to start the union were a large majority everybody was black and it seems that the same people that we were working with were also fired okay and it seemed like it was done systematically well i mean by systematic you mean they fire one person every three years no i mean there were layoffs it seemed well, the, the, they weren't layoffs because they Good. fought every single one, right? They That's didn't correct. let anyone get unemployment. That's correct. So, basically, how many people are we talking about? I would say over 20. So, 20 people were fired? On average. The, I mean, maybe more, but That's about correct. 20 people. Yes, that I can actually say, yes. Okay. And all of them were black? That's correct. And all of them were fired within a couple of weeks each other? Yes. It was... Consistent week after week after week after week. So, like, every couple of weeks, somebody's getting fired, and everybody was black and trying to say, give us our rights. That's correct. So, tell me your right that they didn't give you. Well, one of the main main concerns that affected us was um, a lunch policy that was enforced. No, no, no. See, you know, lunch policy. That doesn't sound... Did they let you eat lunch? No. Okay, don't call it lunch policy. Okay. They didn't let us eat lunch. Yes, and that, we, the, the workforce didn't well, you, take well to you, you, How are you going to take well? You're going to collapse. Yeah. You're doing heavy, heavy physical work. Labor, yes, and there were a lot of debates. There were times that crews and individuals would go the whole day of working without getting uh, a scheduled lunch break. And EMS, you're dealing with the public, you're dealing with people, you're dealing with different situations. Well, that's actually dangerous. If you guys get woozy because you're hungry, you're going to crash the ambulance. That's correct. Um, a lot of things can happen. It, it it went on well through the summer where the weather also affects us. Um, you have individuals well, that well, well, were diabetic. Well, there's all, no, they didn't even let the... Well, the diabetics have a whole other thing to yeah, complain so, about. Yeah. That's uh, they, get, they got a whole other thing. But it's also against labor law. Correct. So even beyond that. Yes. Right? Huh. Okay. So it sounds like you got an easy case. I mean, you can prove that they're just, like, making up stuff. If you fire 30 people and all 30... You got a different excuse each one. Shouldn't that be easy? Yeah, it should be. Well, was it? Well, they tell, were... <laughs> tell us what happened. You had a hearing. Yes. Um, I had, me particularly, I had a hearing um, two weeks ago, r- roughly. And um, the company had their head of human resources, which represented... With some paperwork. Correct. Um, during the date of the hearing, when we sat in front of the judge, um, everything was explained by the judge, um, the way the hearing would take place. The representative from my company spoke first, told their side of why me and my partner were discharged. Um, during the interview or the, the, yeah. uh, the hearing, the dialogue that went on between the judge and the representative from the company went on for about 20 minutes and there were there was a, a, a issue that didn't sit well with me because there were paperwork that was being passed back and forth between the um, between the company's representative and the judge that me personally I wasn't able to see and my attorney wasn't able to see your representative my representative from so CMH that's correct wasn't able to see, and that was a big concern because... So, so they're hearing, talking about all these things and logs, and, that's correct. And, and you weren't able to see it. That's correct. There's paperwork, and the judge was asking the representative from my company questions, and even the judge was confused as to which 
section no, no, she of said she was confused. But she's looking at the thing. Yes, the judge stated that she was confused as far as what it is that she was looking at and that she needed um, further clarification. Um, the representative from, from the company wasn't too clear or accurate as far as well, well, explaining well, well you like don't know what it is that's correct I mean for, for all you know it could have been a note I will give you a hundred dollars at the end of the hearing if you rule in our favor right it, it well, could have been anything we could have been anything we weren't able to see it so that's what's called ex parte communication yes. you're not allowed to do that see in a hearing the judge is supposed to show everybody everything what they're looking at so while they're talking um so in other words, when they say, well, this is what it is. So later I could say, well, you said this was something else the first time. That didn't take place. So she's basically going over it. And then what, what else did she do? She started giving the representative well, ideas, right? More than, it seemed more than ideas. It seemed like advice. Advice? She, she was basically, in a sense, coaching her and telling her In what, a sense? What went on, she was, was giving her... She was coaching. Yes. She, she was telling she was telling the representative from the company what she needed to have. And she didn't have... Or she, was, she failed to produce any documents in which the judge had asked her for. So, in other words, the main documents weren't there. That's correct. And in addition... The woman was trying to say, well, I'm just going to say they weren't there. Yes. But then she admitted she actually wasn't there herself. Yes. There, there was a lot of things that she did admit. She Is admitted she, that she never personally spoke to the to the, to the the patient. She didn't even know. She didn't personally speak to you either, right? That's correct. She stated that she didn't um, have the patient's phone number or what the correct phone number was. There was a lot of things that the judge had asked um, the representative, and she was unclear or fail to even give any adequate answers. Well, she, 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 let's go a little further. The judge, when we say coach, she said, here's what I need. She says, you can't win. Yes. Right? Unless, that's, you use those words? That's correct. You can't win unless you have someone who actually was, was there. there. That's correct. And she was telling them. Yes. And she, this she, is in the middle of the hearing. That's correct. Not at the end, right? Yes, that's correct. The, Representative from the company had a statement from one of the supervisors that stated they had made contact with someone, supposed to, supposedly the patient, on the day in question. And um, you had the patient ready to testify, That right? is correct. Um, there so, was a statement, and the representative stated that she was a witness. Now, the, stop saying represent. Say the company. The company. The okay. company's rep. So yeah. what what we know is she said she was a witness, right? That's correct. And then when asked, "Where's the witness?" You know, she, she said she didn't actually witness anything. That's correct. She had a couple of pieces of paper. Yes. And she knows because she believes those papers, That's right? That's correct. So the judge just said, "Well, in that case, you don't really have a case. You're going to lose, right?" She said, "You need. She needs to be here." Is what was stated. And then, and then. Magically, by the end of the hearing, there was an adjournment for her to have time to bring all these to people. produce everything that... Even though she said she was prepared. That's correct. At the start of the hearing. That's correct. So, the only reason to adjourn had already been done. Were you ready? So, so she basically did them a favor. Yes. Well, more than that, I mean, we still don't know what they were talking about, right? That's right. Um, so your representative just sat there quietly while all this was going on? No. My representative actually um, stated that there were the practices that the judge was engaging in. I can't... Well, well, for, well, well let's, let's say the word objection. Did, did your representative object? object? My representative objected quite so a few for, times. For, but first he objected nice and gentle, right? That's correct. And the judge... Fail to... Well, no, she said, you'll get to see it when I'm good and ready. ready. Right? That is correct. And my representative um, clearly stated that there was, so there was a few violations on the judge's um, conduct as well as how the judge was um, basically 
conducting everything. Right, basically yeah. doing the whole thing. It, it's like even though we're in the room, we can't see what they're, they're, they're talking about. Yeah. And pointing and pointing back and switching papers. And, and we're not able to see anything. And we're not able to then and say, well, didn't you say that was something else? It's like they were working together. together. Yes, and the judge was, all the judge could say is, you'll get your turn to speak. And my representative stated that there's a lot of, th that what was taking place was wrong. And the judge failed to give my representative a chance to state clearly or to even see yes any of the paperwork in which was being passed back and forth he my representative also explained to the judge that that is wrong that it's a hearing and it's your hearing it's not just no, any hearing that's correct and that we are entitled to see what it is that it, the company's representative is showing the judge oh and what the judge is Showing down. I mean, they were panning things back and forth. That's correct. So that, and then at the end, the judge gives two little pieces of paper and says, "Oh, well, you can you can take a look." Well, what, where was all the stuff? What is all that testimony where yes. she couldn't get it clear? That's correct. Um, at that point in time, my representative had no way to make any specific references to whichever was whichever piece of paperwork was handed. To the judge. How'd that make you feel? I felt, I honestly, I felt that I was being taken advantage of. By who? By the judge and it's supposed to be a legal system that's set and everything is supposed to be conducted in a certain fashion. I felt like I wasn't, no one was really. You, weren't, you, you didn't have any rights, right? In a sense, correct. I felt violated. Okay, well, let me tell you, it's worse than that. You didn't know. Remember there was another person in that room who wasn't the employer, wasn't the judge, and wasn't on your side. That's correct. Do you someone, know who that was? I think there was someone that was there for, I think the judge said, for administrative purposes. All right. Well, do you know administrative purposes, that could be a janitor looking to see how they have to clean. Do you know who that person was? I can't recall who the that person was. Well, you don't know the name. Yes. But that person actually works in the chairman's office. So that's direct from administration. Yes. And this judge was violating those rules. In front. Right in front. No fear, right? Yes. Well, let me ask you one thing. Now, do you ever hear mentioned during that time anything about ex parte communication? You as a judge are not supposed to engage in ex parte communication. That's correct. My, that was said. My representative stated... Um, Clearly, um, that that's improper. That's correct. And in fact, that that's a violation of a federal judge's order. I remember clearly my representative was adamant at letting the judge know that she violated that. And she started screaming when that was mentioned, right? That is correct. Like, like caught in the act, right? That's correct. Screaming, screaming. Yes. And ran out the room. First time I've ever seen anything like that. Ran out the room and yes. said, we're going to adjourn. Yeah. Right? Just went to a recess and stormed out the room. I've never seen And that. then said to you when she came back, um, she was kind of implying to you to like that she's going to be mad at you, right? Yes. Like that, That's what she was implying to you. And you hadn't said a word. Not that, not, a, not that whole time. So what do you think she was trying to say to you? Think Basically, in a sense that... Um, well, there was, there was a lot of things that the judge had said. But what was she, by, by glaring at you and being angry with you and saying it's going to take months before you get a, a new hearing? I felt like I was being bullied. In but a sense. bullied into doing what? What do you think she wanted you to do at that point in time? To basically, I don't know, throw in the towel? Throw in the towel. <laughs> okay, well, that is what she wanted you to do. See, but why should you throw in the towel? Well, you get nothing by throwing in the towel. At least if you fight, you have a chance to win. But check this out. Did you feel that she was trying to get you to, to fire your representative? Correct. She, That's, <laughs> it, she clearly stated um, that my representative's conduct would not help the client. Oh, no, no, it wasn't just the conduct. Yeah, good point, good point. She said 
accusing the judge of wrongdoing yes. is not going to help your client. That's correct. But but isn't that strange if the wrongdoing is actually being done? That's correct. How come you didn't fire your, your rep? Why didn't you go, uh, actually, that's it? Actually, um, the things that my client was expressing... You mean your rep? <laughs> yeah, correct. My the well, the things that my rep was um, expressing, I actually felt, I actually agreed with a lot of things that my, so, my so, rep so you mean your representative was representing pretty much, and the judge didn't like the fact that it seemed that my representative knew a great deal of the line of work that he's in, and the judge seemed a bit um, frustrated. Yeah, because I think, did you think that she expected your representative to just back down and be quiet? Correct. But if she's she's violating the law and committing a crime, if a federal judge says an order, here's how you do things, and you say, I'm going to ignore the order because screw the federal judge, do you know that's a crime? I don't know. Well, it's a good, well, you knew it anyway, yes. going in. You know, hey, if a federal judge tells you to do something and it's in an order, yes. their official capacity, you have two options, do it or appeal, Yes, right? And, and, and appeal it automatically. You can appeal it with, like and get a stay from a higher judge. You don't just ignore it. Obviously, she's heard of it, right? She has to. She's a judge. No, but she mm-hmm. heard of that order because when I mentioned it, she, she even stuttered, yes. right? That's... Really, what made her clear? It seemed, yeah, it seemed like she had to take she a step. Busted, back. Like right? she had to take a step back and try to reevaluate I the said, direction of it in which everything was going. I said you're violating the rules and the code of conduct of the, of the administrative law judges. She went, <gasps> and I said violating a federal court order. And you, my representative, also reminded her that the hearing was being recorded. And, she kind of, and it, she and kind it, of flipped. It, That's when she wanted it, to. It seemed like she got recess. a bit more upset when when that was stated to her. So this is in front of her boss's boss's boss. Yes. We're talking like three levels, four levels up. Yes. And she had no fear until I mentioned the criminal act that was taking place. What do you think of that? At that point in time, I I felt that I had the right. Representative. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it, it actually her yelling at you had the opposite effect. Yeah. Well, the, the her yelling seemed she it seemed like she was trying to intimidate. It seemed like panic too, yes. right? Yes. Yeah. Well, I tell you what. Um, you ever heard of a case called Dred Scott by the United States Supreme Court? No. Well, it's an old U.S. Supreme Court case. And it basically says that a white man, right? Wait, wait, wait. I'm getting it backwards. Check it out. That a black man has no rights which a white man must respect. Okay? One more time. <laughs> a black man. Yes. You black man? Yes. Sir. Has no rights which a white man must respect. Okay, that was. That was before slavery ended. Yeah. Do you think she was acting in in the Dred Scott way? Yes. <laughs> she was following Dred yes. Scott, right? Yes, well, Dred Scott has been overruled many times, actually. Yeah. Um, it's been overruled, and the biggest uh, overruling of that is a case called Brown v. Board of Education. Have you heard of that? No, uh, not yeah. familiar. This an EMT school. They don't go into into legal history. That's fine. Yes. But you've heard of Martin Luther King, right? Yes, sir. Have you heard? Have have, have, have you heard of um, of Justice Thurgood Marshall? Yes. Okay. Well, Thurgood Marshall. That's the big case that he won in front of the U.S. Supreme Court that ultimately got him. A position on the Supreme Court, that case was so dynamite. That was in 1955. Since 1955, it has been the law of the entire United States that you cannot, that black people have the same rights as white people, and that you can't have separate but quote unquote uh, equal uh, laws either. Yes. All right? So you you know the effects of the case. 
Do you think she was following Brown v. Board of Education or Dred Scott? More like Dred Scott. Dred Scott. What the hell is going on in your case? I don't know. It seemed, at that point in time, pretty awkward, pretty strange, and it seemed like we were being um, fed to the wolves, in a sense. Oh, yeah, I mean, that was unbelievable. Um, an absolute attack. And your case is being delayed because this woman is openly violating every rule, every 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 ethics rule, for a federal judge's order. Yeah. I mean, to violate your rights, she's not just casually doing it. Yes, she's blatant. working. Yes. I mean, blatant. How'd that make you feel? Made me feel like I don't have any rights. Made me feel like, in a sense, I was alone. And I'm supposed to be, it's supposed to be some order and some structure. Well, you weren't alone because you had someone going objection. Correct. And actually being yelled at for objecting. For objecting, yes. Well, excuse me, I have a right to object. Particularly, you're engaged in ex parte communication, right? Yes. And that made her angry. It did. And then when I mentioned the consent decree, she stuttered. She's like in the middle. Like, huh, huh. That's right. Well, what happened? I mean, what do you think that, that did? Like she had to stop to regroup to figure yeah. out how to cover up, right? What, what it looked like was, here's somebody that knows what they're talking about. And she didn't expect that. Yes. And her actions was reflected somebody that just got caught. And like, let me try to bring a little order back to to the way this hearing is going. Let me slow things down. Let me, this guy let knows me take, too much. Let me take control so I can cover up better. Yes, this guy knows too much. Uh, that's what. That's basically what it looked like. Like she got caught. So she got caught. Yes. So you glad you 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 went in there with CMH and not someone else? That's correct. All right. Well, let me tell you. Well, say it. Don't just say that's correct. Are you? Yeah, I'm. I'm I'm happy that somebody actually had have my best interest. Had your back. Yes, all the way. <laughs> all right. So I'm not mad at all. All right. Even but it, so in, in other words, her yelling sort of made you certain. Yes. You were in trouble if you went in alone. Yes. You well, let me tell you. Um, you know, best of luck. Uh, you've got a battle ahead of you because she's definitely out to do you harm. Every time I've seen a judge act like that, it's it's not for the good, yeah. and it's not fair.